What's your take on why so few women ask for money? I mean, the percentages are still out there. The stats are out there. It's, it's I think, fewer than 5% who uh, yeah. actually go to investors and say, and yet more women are starting businesses, but we usually just do it out of our own pocket. We know, ask for a couple of friends and family to help. Credit card. We're always so funny. We, it's, it's almost as if we don't think to go and play the game. And I'd say that was pretty evident even at Innovation Showcase. We were one of the few, would you mm -hmm. say maybe five of us presented? Out of 75, I think got accepted, um, but I think maybe 65 or so or 70 actually presented. That was interesting. A few people, did you notice this the day after? Like, well, 70 who are having booths and are here, but fewer of us actually got up on stage to <laughs> <laughs> present. So I thought that said, yeah. to, you know, we had the guts to get up there and, and do it. But, well, but what's your take on so few women? Well, this is a really passionate topic for me. So I'm going to try and keep it as <laughs> as easy as possible. But um, I think one is women don't think they know how to play the game. Um, and so it's kind of that lack of knowledge of what do you do to put together a pitch deck? How do you put together a pitch deck? Who do you go to? Who do you have on your side? Um, which goes into kind of the second thing, and maybe this is more personal for me, but like kind of that not knowing and lacking the confidence mm -hmm. to go forward with that. Um, and maybe not having the networks, which is partly why I wanted to especially start something like this, you know, that we really do share and open up to others that this, these things are out there. They're, well, and then the other thing is with the networks, especially um, women aren't in the funding game either. When I went to pitch to I don't know how many venture groups, there may be one woman in the in the room besides myself, but not not often. Right. Um, so they're not funding other women. Um, so I think that's one of our first steps that we need to look at as letting women help each other and support each other in that funding game. And it is kind of a game, it, and it's all about networking. Now women are fantastic at networking, but um, that asking for money is really really big. Um, I went, I pitched in the dolphin tank at the Governor's Conference for Women this past November oh, and the two of the speakers there um, wrote the book called The Confidence Code mm -hmm. and I read all of the notes but that was kind of a not a game changer for me but a really enlightening moment for me to realize that and to be reminded of the statistics that Men will apply for a job even if they're not qualified. fully qualified. Right. And a woman has to feel that she's 110% qualified yeah. in order to apply for that job. In order to make about 70% of their pay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I think that goes into the funding as well. Right. Um, you're not ready to go, like, I'm not going to go ask for money yeah. until I feel yeah. like I'm entirely ready and my company is making money and we've got a proven product. Whereas a man is more likely to walk in and say, here's my great idea. I need $2 million to get it started. <laughs> and a woman would not do that as often. Right. So.